What's, What's good, good Jenny fam? fam? Welcome back to another league video. You did, did, did. If this is your first time ever watching our channel, <laughs> make sure you press that subscribe button right now. Today's our last full day in Orlando, and we came to a place called Discovery Cove, which is really cool. It's like this little all-inclusive resort type of thing where they have a lazy river. Um, they have like a great reef where you can swim with stingrays and sharks and dolphins and all kind of things. It's super fun. You can go snorkeling and it's all you can eat, all you can drink. So it's really cool. It's a little bit pricey, but the boys are having an amazing time. These two have just been having the best time all day. They both love the water. You guys having fun? Splash! Splash, splash, splash. Whoa! That's pretty cool, Banks. You having fun? He likes to sit on it like this. Now he's happy. Koa, you having fun? Funny. Let's see what you could do. Splash, splash, splash. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, so much fun, my love! We're about to go in this cave that leads to a waterfall. Like the cenotes? <laughs> hello, hello. Really out here swimming, swimming with sharks and stuff. What's up, Banks? Look, he's riding his like a seahorse too. <laughs> This place was super cool. It's called Discovery Cove again. Definitely worth it. Check it out. But Koa fell asleep. And Banks is really tired as well. So we're actually gonna head out now. Let me show you guys what an overview of the park looks like one more time though. Cause it's just so cool. It feels like you're at the beach. This whole like, it's just amazing. When you leave, you have a hot guy valet yeah, you your baby to the car. So this one we have to do. We have to take <laughs> this beautiful young boy, put him in there, and you know. What about option. the mom? The mother, you know, she's taking. <laughs> <laughs> Update: We left Discovery Cove, and now we actually had to pack up everything from the Airbnb that we were staying at and immediately moved to a hotel. We had to rent a hotel out because we had another traumatic experience at another Airbnb. And you guys, I think for me, I'm completely done with Airbnbs like forever, unless it's out of the country and it's like an amazing villa, like our Turks and Caicos one. But other than that, I'm never staying in an Airbnb again. After this experience combined with our Arizona Airbnb experiences, yeah. it's just like, no. It's so, been pretty bad, but you know what I'm saying? It's okay because everything worked out good because we are actually at a beautiful resort now. We actually might even stay another day because it's so beautiful, so. Julius cracks me up because he says beautiful so hard. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, let me show you guys what our room is looking like because it's so gorgeous. Okay, so you walk in and right here is our bathroom. Have a nice stand up shower. This is where you take a nice little gunthy, two toilet papers so you don't have to worry about running out. Um, this is our double vanity sink. It's very cute in here. Here's me looking really crusty because I still haven't showered after Discovery Cove. And here's our bath. Really cute, right? It's nice and roomy in here. Love the vibes. It's giving upscale. <laughs> Okay, I cannot. Koki's is running around naked because he's gonna take a bath, so I can't show you guys too much. But this is our little bed. Oh, he's running by. A little desk area with the TV. Had to pop Miss Rachel on for a minute. And we have a little seating area right here. And then a balcony. And look at our gorgeous view of this lake. We're on a golf course, it's so beautiful. I might even get a little spa day because I've been needing one really bad. I have really bad back pain. Julius might go golfing if we stay an extra day, so we're pumped. There's also a Michelin star restaurant here, so we're gonna eat dinner in about like an hour and a half. 
we are finally home and it feels so good to be sleeping in our own bed and just, you know what I'm saying, be in our own environment. We had an amazing trip, like we had so much fun at all the experiences that we did. But one thing that sucked about our trip was that we had to leave our Airbnb. So obviously when you book a trip, one of the hardest parts to booking a trip is finding out where you're gonna stay, making sure, you know what I'm saying, it's the perfect spot, making sure it's comfortable enough and it's clean and all that stuff. So that's one big thing that me and Destiny did before we took this trip. And unfortunately, when we were there, we stayed there for two nights. And on the second night that we were there, Destiny woke up super early in the morning. I think at like 5 a.m. or something because we had some stuff that we had planned for the day that we needed to be up early for. And she went into a different bedroom to find some toilet paper because there was no toilet paper in our bathroom. And in that bathroom connected to that bedroom there was roaches everywhere um they were all on the wall they were running under the bed they were running on the bed and it was just super super like a freaky freaked out experience that you know what i'm saying that leaves us with a bad taste in our mouth after that fortunately for us we did get to go to a ritz carlton and stay at a ritz carlton where obviously it's amazing there um we did have some incidents there which you guys probably are you know but you know we're gonna talk to you guys about that in a little bit but the airbnb situation was definitely the worst highlighted part of the trip like it was kind of like it made us feel all like we had bugs on us bugs on our clothes and all that stuff and it was just something that you know we hope nobody has to experience because that was some crazy stuff but just know we had to get up out of that airbnb because you know once you see a roach you know it ain't no going you know we ain't messing with the roaches we ain't even messing with the mosquitoes but we finally back home and you know me and destiny got some stuff to tell you so enjoy that um obviously we're still kind of jet lagged because it was like an hour ahead over there and then yeah it's just like a little bit different especially with cole because he has his naps and stuff so the timing is a little bit off yeah but we're getting back into the groove of things yes. so we just wanted to sit down i feel like we always do this after vacation we kind of sit down and just give you guys a little update on our life because mm -hmm. Like we haven't done that in a while and there's a lot that we have coming up, a lot yeah. that we want to update you guys on. So let's just get straight into this. We got some Mediterranean food from this spot by our house and it looks really good. Excited to try it. Trying to be on some healthy stuff um, because we just going to just say it right now. We're trying to be on some healthy stuff, trying to, you know what I'm saying, have our bodies looking the best of the best because me and Destiny are actually planning a super, super big vacation. Usually when we go on vacation, it's just one spot and then we come home. Um, but this special vacation that we're about to go on, we're gonna be going to multiple places. We're gonna be going to the Caribbean, island hopping, and honestly, just going to a whole bunch of places that we've never been. And the cool thing about it is we get to take Cole with us. So it's gonna be super dope. Um, the first spot that we are actually going back to is Orlando. Yeah, so we're gonna talk to you guys about all that because I don't know how much you guys know, but if you follow us on Instagram, you saw that we had like a little bit of a situation. Yeah. It was actually a big situation to us. It was really something. I'm not gonna get into all the details about all that again because we've already hashed it out. And um, actually that was, a lot of questions. A lot of people wanted an update on that whole situation and some people asked if we ever got an apology from the restaurant. Yes, so, so we actually did. We actually did get an apology. Um, we actually worked everything out. And the cool thing the about hotel, it- With the hotel, actually. Yes, with the Ritz Carlton. The cool thing about it is they're going to show us a uh, way better experience. They actually invited us personally back to their hotel and you know they're gonna give us a crazy good experience which i'm looking forward to because obviously um that situation that happened um like i said we don't really want to go into detail because we're already over the situation but just know we did handle it you know what i'm saying everything is 
squared away and me and Destiny are going to be able to experience a new experience and get the real feel of the whole vibe that we had going. Yeah, they were so kind and generous to reach out, which we really appreciate. They really made an effort yeah, for to sure. try to understand us and make the situation right. So we really appreciate that so much. And then from there, since we're already on the East Coast. And it's my birthday, and May 1st, birthday. you know what I'm saying? We are going to go to the Caribbean and we plan on going to probably around like four or five different islands. This is probably gonna be like a month long trip for us. Month so long? Maybe not like a month I long. I need to pack a lot of clothes. <laughs> maybe not like a month long, but for sure at least like two to three weeks long. So stay tuned for that because the vlogs and the videos and all the content is gonna be crazy because if you guys don't know, when we travel, we like to try a lot of new things, try new experiences, and basically give you guys our input and just let you guys get the experience with us. Okay, somebody asked, do you want to have more babies? And this is a really good question because we have been thinking, or I at least have been thinking a lot about this lately. The answer, yes, we do for sure want to have more kids, but the thing that we've been considering is when. It's so hard because I feel like I always thought that I wanted to have my kids close together in age. However, now Cole's already one and a half. He's gonna be two in no time. And mm -hmm. I just like don't know yet if I'm ready for another one. Like I feel yeah. like it's gonna be so much harder it's, once we have a second. It's a lot of work already right now, but you know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, once Cole gets a little bit older and he's able to like walk around and Kind of be more independent on his own. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's the right time for us. Especially like, if you guys don't know, we don't have just immediate family that can just watch Koa or, you know, if we want to go on a date night or anything like that, we don't have immediate family that can just, you know, watch them like right, right in and there or anything like that. So that's why it's a little bit harder for us. Before you're a parent, it's when are you going to have kids? Mm -hmm. And then... When you're a parent, it's when are you gonna have another? It's like always the question you get, and you're just like, I don't know yet. Everybody says you should have them close together, but it's just honestly, I feel like it's whenever like you're comfortable. So you what know? do you think when he's like three? Yeah, when he's like two and a half, three. Mm. I'm talking around that time. Oh, you know? no. Somebody asked, how do y'all spend money and save money at the same time? Great That's a question. really good question. Really Something we've worked question. on a lot this year, actually. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think we got really, really good with like money management and like managing what we should and what we shouldn't spend our money money on. When we were living in Los Angeles, we had three cars, which means you have three car notes that you gotta pay. We had a rent that was $10,000, which was crazy outrageous, way more than we're paying now. Way more than we needed to pay. Yeah, way more than we needed to pay. We had all these crazy expensive bills. Like I was paying a gym membership that was like $250 a month. And you know what I'm saying? I would Just, Instacart and Uber Eats yeah. every single day. I can't imagine, yeah. like I would Starbucks, Instacart every, every day. single day, which would be like $20 every morning. Yeah, for sure, at least. 110%. And we would just be spending outrageous money on stuff that wasn't things that you actually need, or we were maybe being lazy because we didn't want to go do something, so we would go spend $300 on Instacart trying to get groceries, rather than we could just go spend 150 at the grocery store, you know? So going back to the question, how do you manage spending money and saving money? I think it's all about wants versus needs, mm -hmm. and understanding that, and kind of balancing that, because obviously you should be able to um, give yourself some of your wants, but you just have to do it within reason. Okay, babe, you know what they want to know. What? Podcast. All right. Podcast video. We need to film one tonight. Yeah, we got a new podcast going up. This week. On Friday, so stay tuned. We're really about to get, go hard on that, so stay tuned. We got a lot to talk to you guys about, so it's going to be a good juicy one. Yeah, a great juicy podcast episode, so go subscribe <laughs> right now. How do you get to solve your issues with Juju? And how do you make your relationship slash bond stronger? Mm. I will say, in a marriage, it's everything is constantly changing. You always have to find new ways of yep. having to figure out like how to communicate and how to work through problems because your life is always changing. So there's always going to be different problems that are coming up, 
Um, people maybe one of us may be going through like a bad time mentally or whatever the yeah. case may be. And so it's like always adapting and trying to figure out how to make it work. I don't really think that there's like a one mm -hmm. size fits all type of answer for how to make a relationship or marriage work. You just gotta want it. You know what I'm saying? If you want it, you're gonna get it. You're gonna do it. And you're gonna, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna, it's gonna work. But coming soon. I finished my food. I'm full. <laughs> Like we said, we are on a healthy journey. We're trying to be fit, trying to be healthy. Trying to get ready right for our trip. Yeah, just be in the best shape that we can possibly be on for our trip. <clears throat> so, you know, we don't get sick or anything before. And while we're on the trip, we can enjoy it and feel good and, you know, feel healthy. So, that's what we're on. Comment below if you guys know any dope Caribbean spots. Um, it could be in Dominican Republic. It could be in... Turks and Caicos, it could be literally in Puerto Rico, it could be anywhere. We plan on going to a lot of places. Um, and if you live in any of those places, comment below and let us know, you know what I'm saying? Let us know the dope spots and the best spots to go to. Um, one big place that I think we are gonna be going to is Jamaica. Destiny doesn't know that, but you know, I gotta go there. You know, <laughs> my, my people's there, you know, I, you know, <laughs> my people's, you know, so, uh, you know, we gonna have to, we gonna, we gonna really see what is gonna be going down. But stay tuned because you guys will be going with us everywhere. Um, this is gonna be something big and something very, it's very be a fun. Fun month for us. Very, very fun. So stay tuned. We love you guys so much, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Peace.